Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the Low Res Jam. The Low Res Jam is a game jam that doesn't have a theme. Instead, it challenges developers to make a game under um, sort of visual restrictions, I suppose. Um, the game should be 64 by 64 pixels, though they can be scaled up so that the screen's bigger, but it needs to keep that resolution of 64 by 64. I'm playing all of the games that are into this jam for about a minute each, 10 per video. If you want to check out the games, there'll be links in the description so you can play them further. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites on Game Jolt's Fireside, so keep a lookout for that. Um, this video is always brought to you by the lovely people on Patreon who support me so I can continue to cover all of these game jams. If you like what I do and would like to support me, there's links to that in the description, as well as links to my Twitter and everywhere else that you can find me. Alright, next. We're playing She Plays Ultra High Definition video games. She kind of walked over to the TV screen and booted it up. There's three games, Kin of Fight, which is this one, Dunn, and Isaac. Okay. I think this is like a fighting game. Yeah, it does say, of fight. I don't wanna, I wanna fight. Fight. I got one. No, not yet. All right, so I can sort of see the bar. And I'm just blasting this guy. Woo, yay! Cool, we'll play one more. Actually, we'll quit. We'll try this one. Done. We'll try one of each. This is really interesting. I very much enjoy games that are games inside games. And I find, like, the... The game on the screen is so tiny. Oh, I died. Oh, she looks sad. Next. We're playing Don't Let Them In. Alright, so I'm this guy. Pipe. Yes. Pipe seems like a good idea. What's this? Carrot. Yes. Attack him. Did we kill him? We have barely any life left. And we're also like in a box. But, you know, we hit him with a pipe. I'm a bit um, perplexed by the perspective, because sometimes I can see the character and sometimes it look, feels like I'm getting so close to the character that I am them. It was just the way I was turning in the hallway. I don't really know, because now it seems to be... No, nope, look. Suddenly I'm far closer to the character. Bullets. Oh, yes. I don't really have a gun, but... We're outside the maze of a house. Oh, I, I was just hitting and I died. And then skipped through the screens, unfortunately. Next. I'm playing Don't Worry, I'll Bring the Beer. Awesome. Uh, there's the shack. Beer should be in there. Alright, beer shack. It's stuck. Let's grab a shovel, maybe. Dig our way in. There we go. It's already open. Alright, we'll get rid of that. Go in. Where's the beer? This is up, down, left, right. Oh, so we can walk around like that. Is a sign something that I need to read? Outside. Where's the beer? Oh, down here maybe. I thought it was a rug, but it's totally stairs. Alright, and we'll go this way. Big staircase. Empty bottle, empty bottle, six pack. The beer, six pack. One should be enough. One's never enough. The beer, why is it hey, Why? I don't know. Alright, so we have the beer. I guess we go to the party. Oh. Bye, cat. I feel like you took the music with you. Cat. Okay. And that wasn't there before. But sure. Happy bottle. Hello, happy bottle. Hello, unhappy bottle. Hello, serious bottle. What are we doing in this world? Some cubes? Ouch! Static electricity. That's interesting. We're in our way. I 
have anything. There we go. It's big enough. Okay. I'm not gonna waste it. Alright. What do you want, serious bottle? We went to a weird world. So I feel like you're unhappy because you need two beers. I feel like to be happy, you both need two beers. Just give him, give him two. Ah, oh, sorry, I clicked out of that. And the mail's here. Next! <laughs> We're playing Legend of Xena, or Xena 2. This is a sequel to this developer's last year's low res jam game, which was Legends of Xena. Alright. Ah, the window moved. Awkward, sorry about that. Uh, Xena, wake up, darling. Someone's come with an important message for us. Please do your homework before coming down, okay? I'm expecting you downstairs after reading that book. Alright. The book is entitled Legend of Xena Part 1. One day, a girl mysteriously woke up on a beach. She found a sword and ventured deeper inland. She reached a town where an old uh, mage taught her fine magic. The place in the middle of the town suddenly collapsed. The girl hastily carried on her adventure. Behind ancient gates, she found a pond from which giant tentacles held the queen uh, held the queen captured. The girl learned that she was Princess Princess Exena, daughter of the queen. Exena, the king, and others had been shipwrecked, but Exena survived. Who wrecked the ship? It was the legendary Skull Squid who hates magic. He surfaced from the pond, and an epic battle ensued. Exena won. She and the queen finally reunited. Now, years later, the palace has been rebuilt, but the king is still missing from the shipwreck. Alright, so that's like a recap of the last... of the last episode. I swear, what I'm telling you is the truth. Ah, you're finally here, Exena. Sir, I'd like you to meet my daughter, Exena. It's a pleasure to meet you, princess. This man is part of the exploration team up north. They're in charge of exploring new areas on our island home. They claim they have found something. Go on, tell it from the start. Of course, Your Majesty. We were exploring north of this town when we found some ancient-looking ruins and a funny-looking gate. They kind of remind me of those goddess statues, but who knows if they are connected. Anyway, that's not the important part of the story. Yesterday night, I saw something near the gate. It was almost a ghostly figure who looked like, well, it looked like the king. I'm sorry for interrupting, but the king, His Majesty, has been missing for years now. Are you really sure that's who you saw up there? I am sure of it. Well, if that really is the truth. Actually, now I would like for you to investigate this. You survived the shipwreck and saved me years ago, so I'm sure you can figure out this one too. Be sure to bring your sword, dear. As the legends foretold, press C to attack. I don't know what that means, but sure. Now go, Axina. Do I have my sword? Do I need to get my sword from somewhere? My sword there? Ooh. Nope, go upstairs. Oh, this is just a bedroom. This looks like a very well-made game. I like the way that they did recap the uh, other story. Oh, I have my sword. Okay. The royal castle. It's really more of a bigger house, but eh. Look at my attacks. What's this place? Shrine Maiden's house. No, we don't need that. We need to go investigate. West. Sunset Beach. You should head north. Yeah, I should. Oh, you can also, like, magic. All this wild grass. It's crazy. One would think to the exploration team would cut it, but nope. Oh, well. Makes me want to burn it down. I suddenly get the urge to say this weird thing. Press X to hold you. Use your spell. Z to charge it. Okay. What the heck does that even mean? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I have to take down all of the grass. Okay. Hey, up here, there's this weird gate thing. Come take a look. Watch out, though. We haven't cleared the area of monsters quite yet. Good thing you've got that sword, girl. I very much like um, the music as well in this. It's very nice. Ah. Alright, is everything good here? I gotta get rid of this. 
next. We're playing Dash Crash. Alright, oh, we didn't. That's beautiful. We should, like, retry. Alright, so. So we can sort of dash through enemies, and then they explode. But they kind of charge up to dash, which is that circle around- Oh, we died. Which is that circle around them? It's very nice. We can also hit, like, R to locate our ship. In case everything's getting, like, weirdly hectic. I think we crash straight into each other. Got him. Yeah, we need to be careful. We need to not rush in so much. It's a very simple game, but I very much like all of the graphical, graphical, all the particle effects um, that happen when the ship sort of crash and move even. Ah, we crashed into each other. Next. We're playing Rampage. Press any key. Done. Mission. Kill all. I'm a cop and my mission is to kill everyone. Ah, that makes sense of a cop on a rampage. What about people that are in cars? That police officer doesn't seem to mind my rampage. Maybe he knows about it. It's like a basketball field. Uh, the movement of the car feels quite nice. I was afraid that was like the edge. Yeah, I think that is the edge. Need to kill more people. Kind of on the outskirts of the city. People only walking on one side of the road. Ah, we earn more time with the more people that we destroy. It's like a huge traffic jam over there, but there's tons of people here. This is a very simple game, but it feels nice. And the low resonance of it is great. Bam, bam. Get caught a bit in an alley. Reverse. Perfect. Get these two. Awesome. Stop it. Zooms right in. Next. We're playing Asteroid Omicron, I think is how you say it. Probably. Alright. So that's like shooting. When we go into a new area, we get more of our bullets back. Those are falling tiles. Oh. You're bad. Okay. Press shift to use lift. No worries. Let's go to level. Oh, wait, we gotta go to level one. Push. Yeah, I'd like to go to level one. I can't seem to go to any of the other levels. Wow, we need to kill you first, despite the gap. I like the recharge. So we can spam bullets for a bit, but it's a very limited amount of time that we can spam bullets for. Fill up. Come on. I need to die. Awesome. Annoying turret right there. But it's gone, so. Now I've got two annoying turrets right there. <laughs> Cross these. What are you even? Dash. Press D to dash. Is it D? Ah, it's S. So we can kind of avoid these holes. Can't dash over that though. Next. We're playing Elemental Mages. Alright. Wow, I feel like we've already died. Alright, maybe not though. Okay. So 
So when we bump into them, obviously they die. This guy, this guy's not very happy with us. I guess we use this teleporter. Oh wait, it's not a teleporter. Okay. I won't have a key, so I can't go in there. I'm not sure what that does, more than flash. I can't go across these, right? I can, but it takes a lot out of you. Ah, let's go this way. We'll get the gems. Alright, that door is locked. Sure. Ooh. This guy knocks you back, like, into the zoom. Into the spikes. So it, like, double hits you. So, nice little game. Next. We're playing Pixel Peak. Three, two, one. Ah, let's go. We've already died. Okay. This is gonna be fun. Oh, those are trees. At first I kind of thought they were gems, but they're definitely trees. Okay. Glad you're yelling me a lot. Ah, no. Okay. I like these sort of skiing games. When I was younger, I used to play uh, this Barbie Ski Lodge game on the computer a lot, and I, I loved it. Aww. But I was never very good at it, and I'm not very good at this one either, but it's very fun. It feels super uh, fast-paced. Uh, and you can even tweet your score out. I'm gonna try one more. I had better luck going sort of this way. Ah, oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Next. We're playing URDL. Press the right combination of arrow keys to defeat the URDL. Oh, maybe it's URDL. I might have said the wrong order. Red arrows indicate you must press the opposite direction. Miss too many attacks to take. Oh, take too long. The game is over. Alright, so up, left. Alright, so red, down, down. Okay. These ones, you have to follow them. It's quite tricky with the red sort of being opposite. Down, this way, this way. Perfect. Up, down, over. Down, over. Ah, oh, I did opposite, but I didn't mean to do opposite. 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 That was so close in time. Opposite. Okay. Now these ones, the first one wasn't opposite, the second one, and the rest of them were. Cool. It's a fairly simple game, but it's really fun. I like the look of the. Oh, this is opposite. I like the look of the blobs. Darn it. Ah, oh, he ate me. Okay. I like how uh, menacing their teeth look with the gums by them. That's a really nice detail. Next. 